Welcome back traders. Today we have an incredible trading strategy that revolves around the power of buy and sell indicators. If you're eager to supercharge your trading game and unlock the potential of these indicators, then you're in for a treat. This unique buy and sell indicator strategy is designed to suit traders of all levels. From beginners dipping their toes in the market to seasoned professionals looking to enhance their trading approach. So, get ready to dive into the world of buy and sell indicators and discover how this strategy can revolutionize your trading journey. I'm excited to introduce you to the amazing buy and sell super trend indicator strategy. This strategy is all about leveraging the power of trend analysis and making informed trading decisions using the super trend indicator. So I'm in trading view and this is what our chart is going to look like when we're done setting up our indicators. I'm going to be using a Bitcoin chart in a 5 minute time frame to explain this strategy. I'll quickly cross out these indicators so I can explain the settings from the beginning. Buy sell indicator strategy setup. First of all, let's add our main indicator of this strategy to the chart. So in the indicators tab, we will search for super trend indicator and add this one by Kivance Ozbiljic. As you'll see, it is one of the most popular trading view indicators. The super trend indicator is super easy to use and gives accurate readings about the ongoing trend in the market. It's constructed with two parameters, namely period and multiplier. The default values used while constructing a super trend indicator are 10 period for ATR or average true range and 3 for its multiplier. The average true range plays an important role in super trend as the indicator uses ATR to calculate its value and the ATR indicator signals the degree of price volatility. The buy and sell signals are generated when the indicator starts plotting either on top of the closing price or below the closing price. A buy signal is generated when the super trend closes above the price and the opposite is true for a sell signal. It is generated when it closes below the closing price. A super trend indicator can be used on crypto, futures, forex, or even stock options and also in any time frame. Although the super trend indicator gives pretty accurate signals most of the time, we cannot still rely on a single indicator for our trade entries. So now let's add our second indicator to the chart. In the search bar of the indicator section, type trend indicator and select this one. Lastly, we're going to add our third indicator before making some adjustments to make the system easier to use on our charts. So the third indicator that we'll be adding will be the QQE mode and add this one to your chart. So after this is done, now let's make a few adjustments to the indicators. Firstly, let's change the settings for the super trend indicator. So in its settings, under the input section, we are going to change the ATR period from 10 to 9, and also change the ATR multiplier from 3.0 to 3.9, and this is going to be it for this indicator. Next, we will access the settings for our second indicator, which is the trend indicator. And under the input section, change the default MA type from VWMA to EMA. Next, change the length from 7 to 52 and smoothing length from 7 to 10. So after these changes are done, we will access the settings for our third indicator, which is the QQE mode. The third indicator in our system will be used for entry confirmation. The QQE mode indicator is based on the moving average of the relative strength index or RSI. The moving average of the RSI is then smoothed using a smoothing factor to reduce noise and provide a more accurate representation of the trend on the QQ indicator you'll see that the histogram is representing the trend. The blue histogram indicates a bullish trend, and the pink histogram indicates a bearish trend. The histogram makes it easy for traders to quickly identify the trend and make informed trading decisions by combining the three different indicators, and you're able to generate high probability trading setups. So now that we have all the components of the trading strategy, let's take a closer look at the rules for entering a buy and sell trade. By the way, if you guys are interested in amazing buy and sell trade signals for free, you can join my Telegram group. The link is in the description. Buy trade rules. So for a buy trade to be valid, first of all, the super trend indicator has to give you a buy signal. Then we wait until the market forms a bullish candle and the color of the trend indicator changes to green. So when these two conditions are fulfilled for final confirmation, we will look at the QKey mode indicator to see if we have enough momentum for the prevailing trend to happen. So for buy trade, the histogram needs to be blue in color. So once all these conditions are fulfilled, we can open a buy position. So I'll quickly open a buy position here. Our stop loss will be placed at the swing low. 
and the risk-reward ratio will be 1 to 2, meaning that we should aim for a return of 2% for every 1% that we risk on the chart. Now let's see if this will be a profitable trade or not. As we can see, the market hit our target easily after some time. Here we can see the super trend indicator gave a buy signal again. Subsequently, after patient observation, we got a bullish candle, accompanied by green color of the trend indicator. As these two conditions are fulfilled, for final validation, we can see the histogram is blue, indicating sufficient momentum for the prevailing trend. So we can open a buy position here. Our stop loss will be set at the swing low, and to manage risk, a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2 is employed. The key is to stay patient and enter only when all these conditions are fulfilled. I hope you've understood buy trade rules. Now let's go through the rules for entering a sell trade through this strategy. If you are wondering which exchange I trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on, you can press the link below this video and take a look at Bybit. On this platform, you can easily make a deposit from your bank account and trade over 150 cryptocurrencies. You can use leverage up to 100 times while trading to make profits even faster. In addition, you can use a four price layout to keep an eye on multiple cryptocurrencies at the same time. If you also want to trade on this exchange, visit Bybit through the link below this video. Because through the link, you will get a deposit bonus up to $30,033. Sell Trade Rule so the rules for entering a sell trade are exactly opposite to buy trade. First things first, we wait for the super trend indicator to give a sell signal. We need to confirm this signal by keeping a close eye on the price movement. We want to see bearish candle cross the trend indicator which will change its color to bearish color, we all know is red. That's our cue for a potential sell trade. After this, to be extra sure about this trade, we turn to our trusty QQE mode indicator. We will look to see if there's enough bearish momentum brewing for the trend to actually happen. It's like getting a final nod before jumping into the trade. So once we have all these pieces falling into place, we can open a sell position. So I'll quickly open a sell position here. We'll set our stop loss just above the recent swing high for sell trades and aim for a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2, which will give us a return of 2%. Now let's see if this trade turns out to be a profitable one. And as we can see, the market hits our target with ease after a little while. If you guys also want buy and sell trade signal like these for free, you can join my Telegram group. The link is in the description. Now let's go through one more example of a sell trade so you guys can understand the strategy properly. Here we got a sell signal. The trend indicator changed to red color and the QQ mode confirmed the selling momentum. So I'll open a sell position here, following the money management rules. I hope you guys liked this strategy. Please make sure to backtest it on whatever market and time frame you like to trade on so that you can understand the potential of this strategy. If you found this video beneficial, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.